As I travel around the state of Alabama, ladies and gentlemen, there is no part of this state that is frankly more connected to our message, more intimately tied to our message of change and opportunity and educational advancement in this incredible part of the Tennessee Valley. Fifty some years ago, a group of people made a judgment that while we had never built a rocket before, while we had never studied the cosmos before in this part of our state, while we had never conquered the frontier of science in this part of our state, a group of very committed people made the judgment that they could build something very special in this community. And that vision has flowered over a period of time. As I travel around the state of Alabama, I am talking constantly about our need to discover a new vision for a new century. I'm talking about our need to decide what is Alabama's future going to look like. What are we going to learn how to build or produce in this next decade that we haven't built or produced before? When I make that case in Huntsville, I'm just talking about your past. The future that I'm talking about for the rest of the state is really the past you've experienced over the last 50 years. One of, born of a commitment to science, education, to learning. That's why I feel a special kinship, a special connection to this region. And when I talk about the fundamental power of education, when I talk about what it's meant in my life, how it took me from the railroad tracks of West Montgomery to a chance to be in the U.S. Congress by the time I was 35, a chance to be governor by the time I would turn 43, that message about the power of education is one that resonates so deeply in this community. But there's another reason that Madison County Huntsville means so much to me. This is the part of our state that leans most aggressively toward the future. It's the part of our state that understands that whatever we have been in Alabama in the past doesn't have to dictate what we have to be. Several years ago, I was at a black history program in Lawrence County in Moulton, Alabama. There was a young man who won an essay contest that night. And he said something, and I will give him all the credit for this, because he said it before I said it. But he said something that has stuck with me ever since. He read his essay, and he said at the end of it, we can't change the history that our fathers and mothers lived, but we can change the history that our children will read. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what this campaign is about. I can't change the foundation that got us to the point that we are today in the state of Alabama, either way, for good or for bad. But what we can change is the history that our children will read. And I submit to you, ladies and gentlemen, so many people are watching what we will do in this race. So many people are watching how our state will handle this challenge, this push for opportunity, this push for new ideas. So many people are watching corners of the world that barely know the state of Alabama will watch and will learn what we do on June 1st and November 2nd. What I want the world to see, what I want all of those pockets to see is that Alabama is open for business, Alabama is open for the future, and Alabama is open to be something it's never been.